hi guys welcome back to my channel if you want to see how i created today's makeup look please stay tuned Alright, so welcome if you are brand new here and for all my current subscribers, welcome back. So I have already primed my eyelids using this primer from Milani and I'm just going to set that in place using this setting powder from Maybelline New York. This is just going to ensure that the lids do not crease once I apply my, the, my makeup. Now I won't be doing a full face makeup, I'm only going to show you guys the eye application and I'll be using these lashes from Kiss in the style Poise and um, I'll be using the Duo Lash Glue as well and I'll be using these palettes, this is the Sunset palette, I'll be using those two shades and I'm also going to be use the brown from this Comfort Zone palette as well and I will be using the black from this Fancy Eyeshadow palette from LA Colors so I'm starting off by using the lighter shade brown and I'm blending that all over and in my crease. Now um, the square or rectangular pad that I showed you, I'm basically going to be using that as a guide. So it's just going to prevent the eyeshadow from coming out too far on the end of my, um, my eyes. So I'm just using that as a guide and I'm starting off um, by blending it with the shade that's a little bit darker. So I use the lightest shade brown first. Now I'm going in with the, the darker shade brown and I'm blending that in a diagonal um, direction or a diagonal line starting from the outer corner of my eyes and I'm blending that towards the center of my eyelids. So I'm just going to continue building up the color and blending. I'm looking for a really subtle makeup look today, nothing over the top, nothing extra. And I won't be doing a full face makeup on camera. I will actually apply the rest of my makeup off camera, but I really wanted you guys to see how I did the eye makeup. So now I'm using the darkest shade brown from the Comfort Zone palette. And I'm going just below the brown that I added just before this one so I'll be going from the lightest shade brown to the very darkest shade and I'll be finishing that off using the black just to deepen the darkness a little bit onto the extreme edges And I'm going to be blending that up towards the eyelids and for the black that I'm using last I'm just doing that you know right above the lash line and the outer corner of the eyes now for the shades that I use on the lids I'm also going to be using those shades on the lower lash line as well And for the outer corner of the eyes, I'm going to be using the darkest shade that I used earlier, so it will be the black. And all the shades that I'm using in today's makeup look will be um, the matte shade. So I'm going to be using the black to connect the outer V, so the top and bottom lids will actually sync together. Now this makeup look is going to be really subtle and really soft. It can be an everyday makeup wear and it's perfect for daytime wear. It can be for work, it can be for, you know, just about any everyday event that you have. And I'm just cleaning up the edges, the outer part. Like I said, it wasn't too messy because I was using the cotton pad to block the excess from getting um, all over my face. But you can definitely see where the concealer sharpens the edges and it looks so much better with the concealer. And I'm just blending the edges out.
All right, so now I'm going to be using this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and I'm going to be applying that to the lower lashes. So I'm not going to be using any eyeliner pencil for this look. I'm just going to add some lashes once I'm done. And like I said, I won't be doing a full face makeup. I wanted this video to be short and spicy. Um, the previous video I posted was a little bit longer, so I wanted to post a very short video. So I'm not doing a full face makeup. And I'm just adding um, a thin layer of the glue to the lash line. And I'm using the black glue. I'm also using a little bit of the clear glue onto my own lids. So for the outer and inner corners, those are the parts that tend to lift um, if they're not properly secured when you're wearing your false lashes. And a little bit in the middle as well. I did get a little bit more than I bargained for in the middle section but that's okay it can be wiped away and even if it's not wiped off this actually dries clear so it will not show the only thing I found is that even though it dries clear it did have a glossy look and because I was actually going for a matte look I ended up using the black eyeshadow just to um, you know put it over the little glossy look that I was getting right above the lash band and I think the black eyeliner did help in concealing it so that that sheen wasn't there so it, everything actually looks really matte once I was finished doing that and that would be about it for the eyes once I'm done that the next time you're going to see me guys it will be the full face makeup completed I'm going to show you the complete look with the rest of my face and guys this look is so subtle it's so beautiful and it paired really well with the matte lipstick that I was wearing as well and you can actually get away with any color um, lipstick with this look a red purple whatever it is you could actually work with this and check out the hair would you guys believe that this is actually a jawstring ponytail yes it is you have to watch the video that i'll be posting right after this to show you how i transform from the jawstring ponytail to this really fluffy and full looking hair so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video let me know what you think down below don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't as yet. Thanks for watching my video. Bye, guys.